Open Heavens Devotional Thursday, March 9, 2023. Topic. In His Presence. Memorize. Psalm 1611. Thou will show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy, at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Read. Psalms 24 3-6. 3. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? 4. He that hath clean hands, and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. 5. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. 6. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Message. The presence of the Most High God is the best place anyone can be in. Those who spend time in His presence are always in control of life's situations rather than the other way round. Elijah was just coming from the presence of God in 1 Kings 17 when he commanded that there should be no rain or dew for three years and it was so. If you want to be in control, then what you really need is to be in God's presence. It's a good thing we have the criteria required for you to be in God's presence listed in our Bible reading for today. They are as follows. 1. You must have clean hands. In 2 Corinthians 6 17, God said, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You have to be careful what you touch with your hands. I've always told my children to be careful what they sign. If a report is wrong or misleading, don't append your signature. Don't steal, don't manipulate reports, watch what your hand touches. 2. Your heart must be pure. Matthew 5 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Be careful of what you let into your heart and what you meditate upon if you truly want it well in His presence. 3. Your heart must not be lifted up to vanity. Colossians 3 1 3 says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. You must regularly check what motivates you to do what you do. Are you driven by material or spiritual things? 1 John 2:15 says you should not love the world or things of the world, that if you love the world then the love of the Father is not in you. 4. You must not be a liar. Revelation 22:15 made it clear, for without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters and whosoever loves and makes a lie. If you are a liar or someone who takes part in the benefits of other people's lies, God will keep you outside His presence. Reflection Based on the list discussed today, are you qualified to be in God's presence? If not, make amen today. Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.